a lot of language learning is about memorizing vocabulary or in uh, the system that I approach, memorizing conversational connectors that you can glue together. So how do you remember them? Well, an old fashioned technique is to just cram them from a list in a book for a few hours one night and hope that you pass the test the next morning. But the problem with that is that you forget things quite quickly once the test is over. The knowledge isn't very deep. So I'm going to talk about an alternative approach based on what is called spaced repetition systems. And if you know what a spaced repetition system is, an SRS, a sp if you know what an SRS is, I, you're not going to learn anything new in this video, so there's probably not much point in watching it. But if you've never heard of a spaced repetition system, it's a little bit like an electronic version of flashcards, where you add foreign words and their definitions, and you can add thousands to the software of words to the software, and instead of cramming for three hours, you limit your study time to say 15 minutes a day, and just look at a few of the cards and try to remember what their meaning is, and you say whether you were successful or not. And the space repetition system will keep a statistical analysis of how many cards you got wrong, which ones you got right, and so on. And it'll then, based on how well you've remembered a card, determine how frequently to show you that given card again. So words that you quickly get the hang of, it'll recognize this, and you won't get to have to repeat them very often. But when it sees that there are words that you're struggling with, it'll speed up the um, rate at which you're showing those cards again. So it's really monitoring your learning and making you more efficient in learning vocabulary or connectors or phrases. In fact, there's a language learning method called the 10,000 sentences method. And they advocate that you find 10,000 very different sentences in a language you're learning and put them all into one of these SRSs and study over a year and a half, they recommend, 10,000 sentences for 15 minutes a day or so. And by the end of it, you should know those 10,000 sentences pretty well and you'll have a good grasp of the language. So I'm going to show two spaced repetition systems. One is one that I bought, which is quite good. One is one that's free, which is fantastic value. Of course, it doesn't cost anything. And I think they're both good. The only reason I bought one was because I didn't really know about the free one when I bought it two or three years ago. I don't even know if the free one existed then. And they're both pretty similar. But this is, this is the one I bought. It's called Before You Know It, or also known as Bicky. So I'll try and turn the camera around. And I've got no real experience with using this camera like this, so I don't know how it'll work out, but we'll see. All right, so here I've got a list of 10 cards and I've got hundreds of these lists with thousands of cards. And here you can look through the cards at first. Nezlop to se ale, don't be upset, but next. Tommy uh, Oklozlo, it was a slip of the tongue. Shrekli semto takle omilem, I said it that way by mistake. So it shows you the word or phrase that you've put into the system with its definition. And once, and it keeps some statistics over here. And once you're happy with that, it, you can exit that step. And then it'll show you just the foreign language phrase, and you go, ooh, what did that mean? What did that mean? Um, I think it says, I, I said it that way by mistake. Am I right? Ah, yes, I said it that way, that way by mistake. Were you right? Yes or no? Well, yes, I was. Now, now, that means to my shame, or I'm ashamed to admit, or to my shame, I must admit that. To my shame, I must admit that. So, ooh, I got that one right as well. Boyim says, I'm afraid to say that. Oh, but is it boyim? Maybe boyim means I'm happy to say that. Oh, I got it wrong. And so it'll keep these statistics and show me the cards I got wrong. For example, as soon as I got one wrong, it shows me immediately again. But if I'd got, got it right, it would show it to me maybe in a couple of days. And finally, we see the English version. I'm afraid to say that. So, boyim sezritzje, perhaps. Yes, boyim sezritzje. 
And it's the same idea. You say yes or no, and it monitors your information, your statistics, and decides when to feed them back to you. So that's um, a big key. And now I'm going to show you Anki, which is the free one. So in no case here, what's that? This doesn't seem to have the same idea of showing something three times like you have in Bicky. It, um, in Bicky it showed me the Czech and English together so that I could study. Then it showed me only the Czech and I had to guess the English. Then it showed me the English and I had to guess the Czech. This doesn't quite work like that. You can configure it a little bit but it's not the built-in way it works. More you just have to say in no case um, was I and now here instead of just saying if you got it yes or, yes or no you can say it was very easy easy good or you want to see it again and so if something was very easy it won't show it to you for a week if it was easy it'll show it to you again in five days if it was good it'll show it you again in 12 days but if you did very badly you want to see it again so I'll, I'll say we did that easy I'll, I'll see it again in five days I must add, I must say that. Ja musím říct, že. Aha, so musím říct, že. Ooh, let's pretend the... Now, here, um, it'll say, if I found that one very easy, because it's monitored my statistics here and knows that repeatedly I've said it was easy. If I say again it's easy, it's not going to show it to me for another 3.2 years. So that, uh, understandably, pochopitelně. So, oh, I was right. But this one, I must have got it wrong in the past because it's going to show it to me in three years rather than 3.2 years. And if I say it was hard, it thinks, well, you really know it. You must have just forgotten it this once. So it will show it me again in 3.5 months. And so that's the basic idea. There are pieces of software that help you to do flashcards. Now, the only downside with these pieces of software is that you've got to be at the computer to use them. And many people don't like them because of that. But I'm going to show you something. Um, some people say, oh, just use paper flashcards. But the problem with paper flashcards is that nothing is keeping track of your statistics on how well you've done and which ones you should review next. But now the Anki program, to my great joy, is available free of charge for um, uh, smartphones. So an iPhone or a Android phone like I have. So um, on here I have all of my card decks, stacks of cards. So I'll just say that I want to choose a, a deck with apologizing. Um, I'm afraid there is no easy answer to that question. Ooh, what could the answer to that be? Bohužel na tuto otázku neexistuje jednoduchá odpověď. Hmm? Um, well, did I get that? Do I want that again? Was it hard? Was it good? Oh, it was really hard. So just as with the on-screen version, I can say, oh, that was really hard. And then you'll notice, by the way, that, that the text on here is a bit smaller. But with this being a smartphone, you can turn them sideways to get a better view. So. I'm sorry if my check is a little difficult to understand. Again, press that to see the answer. Omlovan se, pokud je moje češina trochu občížněji, pochopitel now. Yeah. So, I, I think I did okay with that one. Mm, I'll say good. And so it'll keep these statistics. And I've set this up on my phone so that it only gives me uh, 10 minutes worth of cards at a time. You can set it for as long as you want. And then after 10 minutes, it'll stop. And so this is really handy when I'm waiting for the tram or sitting on the metro or in the queue at the supermarket because all I have to do is press this button. Oops, sorry. Um, I started the wrong application. Press the, an press the uh, Anki button and up it came, comes immediately. And if I switch my phone off, because now they're serving me in the supermarket, just switch it on, and there's the card that I was on immediately available. So it's great when you just have two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, and it means you don't have to be sat at your computer yet can still all get the benefit of these SRS systems. So Anki is the one I would probably recommend. And 
It's great on your computer, but if you've got a smartphone, it's even better on the smartphone. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.